guys, so today I have a home haul. And if you guys watched my last vlog that just went up, then you guys know that I am moving into my first apartment next week at school. So I have been collecting some things for my apartment. Now, this is like the preliminary haul. So this is basically the stuff that I really need, but it may not be quite as exciting as future home hauls. I mean, next week I'm hidden anthropology big time. So if you guys want to see all of that stuff, that's going to be super cute and all that jazz, then make sure that you check back then. But today, honestly, I have some of the more boring things, but it's still kind of exciting because you know, it's like the bare necessities of an apartment. So yeah, let's just get into it. Today's haul mainly consists of things that I got at Target. So the first thing that I got at Target is a nice big shower tension rod caddy. In my apartment, I have a bathtub in my shower, so I decided not to get a caddy that hangs over the shower head because I feel like those get way too wet and rusted really quickly. So instead, I decided to get one that kind of is in the corner of the shower area, and I got one that was rust resistant and that had pretty decently sized shelves, so that way I could fit a ton of stuff in there because Let's be real, I have way too many shampoo, conditioners, and body moisturizers, so I need a big shower caddy. For this apartment, I wanted to go in with a really clear idea of the kind of color schemes that I wanted to go for and the kind of decor themes that I wanted overall. So for my bathroom, I decided that gray was the color that I wanted. I want my bathroom to feel really cozy. I don't want it to feel cold like a bathroom shower and I don't want it to be all over the place like a very youthful shower room. I wanted it to be cozy and mature and some place that I could just see myself waking up and feeling like I'm snuggled in a blanket. So to go with that idea of feeling snuggled in a blanket, I got this really beautiful shower curtain that is the gray heathered waffle version from Threshold, which is Target's brand. And this just has such a soft waffled material. So it looks almost like a kind of sweater blanket. And I just think that it's going to be really nice hanging on my shower because that's basically going to be a whole wall so it'll give me a really neutral background but it has a texture that just looks really soft which most shower curtains do not. Honestly I've never had a bathtub before where I've had to buy like a shower curtain for it or any kind of shower that I've had to buy my own shower curtain for so I really wasn't sure what to do and what was appropriate for shower curtains. So when I went for the softer material with the shower curtain I decided that I wanted to get a similar themed shower liner and some shower liners are like really plasticky and then some of them I think are a little bit nicer maybe so I kind of went with the nicer one I think again by Threshold at Target. This one is the shower curtain liner with, with a weighted hem in the heavy weight fabric. So I went with this one because it had these like stripes in it but it looks and it feels like a softer almost thicker material than just a straight plastic liner because those I feel like get clingy and they like touch you when you're wet and I'm like so not into things touching me when I'm wet. So yeah, I decided to go with this one. I figured it would keep me from feeling skeeved out of plastic clinging to me later on. I just got the nicer one. I was doing some shopping in William and Sonoma and I saw this cookbook that I really wanted because I am obsessed with chicken. It is my favorite thing to eat. So I got the chicken night book from William and Sonoma. I actually got this as a gift from my best friend and she gave this to me. So I'm really excited to have some recipes to cook for myself because I will be cooking for myself for the next two years. Scary thought. Hopefully I don't poison myself, fingers crossed, but I think that this will come in handy and the pictures in this just look so good. Like maybe I can just kind of flip it for you guys. Like just look at some of these pictures. I mean, come on. Like, oh, I was just in William and Sonoma looking at cookbooks and it made me so hungry and it made me wish that I was like a five star cook every night but that would take way too much time. So, I mean, let's be real, I'll probably just be having soup half the time, but cookbook will come in handy. I can't believe that I'm hauling this next item, but 
I got a plunger and toilet cleaner. Real talk, that's what you really need in an apartment. Hopefully I don't have to use the plunger part too much, but yeah, I just got the Target one. I wasn't sure if like what was necessary for plungers. Like, are some plungers better than other plungers or do they all just unplunge stuff? You know you are an adult when you buy your own plunger. This next item is one of those items that I really can't show you in frame, but I'm gonna try. This is a rug and I got this from Nordstrom and it is so soft, it's gray and white for my bedroom. My bedroom is going to be neutral toned overall, but the color scheme that I wanna go for is gray, blue, and pops of gold. So that's kind of my concept. The gray is just like in any kind of upholstery if I kind of need extra things. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I haven't bought too many things for my room because I wanna buy that when I'm there, but this carpet is so soft, it feels like a teddy bear, and I'm very excited to put this in next to my bed so every morning when I wake up, I'm standing on a plushy little carpet. Next up, I did actually get a couple things from William and Sonoma. So I got a pair of oven mitts because I love to bake. So I got these blue oven mitts that were actually on sale and I got them during their friends and family event. So oven mitts are really important to get quality oven mitts because I have gotten tons of really cute oven mitts that just do not work whatsoever. Like the second that you touch a hot pan with the oven mitt on, it just feels like your hand is going straight against it. So William and Sonoma, kind of a more premier place to shop for home goods, but I mean, it's worth it with oven mitts for me because I'm always using things in the oven. And the last thing that I got, I am going to show you guys one electronic that I'm actually buying for my apartment. And this is for the kitchen. So I already have my Keurig because I'm a coffee addict and I obviously already own one of those, but I don't actually have a hand mixer. So this is a Cuisinart Power Advantage Plus nine speed hand mixer with the storage case. So I actually didn't realize that there was like a pro one and then like a basic one. And the basic one comes in like tons of cute colors, but this one has a lot of speed settings and I bake a ton, a ton. So I thought that I'd invest in this one. It's in sterling, it's in stainless steel. And yeah, I know that I'm gonna get a ton of use out of this. So that is it for right now. That's all that I have going into my apartment right now. A lot of stuff is being delivered there. So hopefully I'll do tour and things like that. Really exciting stuff to come. So, so excited. Uh, yeah, if you guys are moving into an apartment for the first time, some of you guys commented that on my vlog. So let me know in the comments down below what you're getting or what you would get the first time you move into an apartment or what you did get the first time that you moved somewhere. So yeah, I think that is it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And if you guys want to see my last video, go ahead and click the link right here. Subscribe to my channel in this video or in the down bar down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter.